Hi, in this video I want to talk about a strategy that works at the beginning of the league and also during the later stages. Rogue Exiles combined with Tormented Spirits. I will break them down into individual parts and then combine them together. First, Rogue Exiles. Rogue Exiles are basically mobs that look like regular players and use player skills. When you kill them they drop a large number of items including one for each inventory slot. This makes this strategy so interesting. At the beginning of a league, for the first two or three days, the Chaos Orb recipe gets used quite a lot. And since you need one rare for each inventory slot, this strategy helps you achieve that quite easily. They also scale pretty well in later maps. The only drawback is that you cannot guarantee them through the Atlas passive tree. Tormented Spirits the various spirits have differing modifiers that they themselves possess as a spirit in addition to effects that they bestow on normal and magic monsters that they touch as well as powerful modifiers that they grant to any rare or unique mobs that they possess. Any mob that is bestowed or possessed by a spirit gains a modifier based on the spirit that bestowed them. In addition to some slightly increases to movement speed, attack and cast speed, as well as significant increases to item quantity and item rarity. If a rare monster is possessed, at least two rare items are guaranteed to drop. And if a unique monster is possessed, at least three rare items are guaranteed to drop. So. How can we combine them together? There is an Atlas passive that guarantees that rogue exiles are possessed by a tormented spirit. Map recommendations. If you don't care about bases or influences, farm the maps that you prefer. If you care about bases and shaper slash elder influenced items, look for maps that drop bone helmets, steer rings, par rings, etc, etc. And use an elder slash shaper scarab. The map tier should be 16 then. Another method would be to farm the guardian maps or the elder slayer maps. What scarabs and sextons should you use? Mandatory. I would highly recommend that you use the Gilded Torment Scarab for area is haunted by seven additional tormented spirits. Optional. If you are not farming guardian maps, Shaber slash Elder Scarabs are good too, as pretty much all of the others. It is always up to you what other league mechanics you are going to combine with this strategy. Sextons. This sextant, in my opinion, is mandatory since it guarantees exiles on your map. The other sextants that I would recommend, but is not mandatory, would be this one. The first three possessed monsters drop an additional gilded scarab, and your maps contain an additional tormented betrayer. Since they are very expensive, you can decide if you can afford it or not. What Atlas passives should you take? You should take Rogue Trader. White Rogue Exiles in your maps have 50% chance to have an additional rewards. And Rogue Exiles in your maps have 100% more life. The next one that I would take would be Royal Guard map bosses have 20% chance to be accompanied by two Rogue Exiles bodyguards. Rogue Exile bodyguards take 50% less damage and have additional rewards. The next two big passive nodes that I would definitely take is Exile Will. Rogue Exiles in your maps are possessed by a tormented spirit. This is the Atlas passive that I was talking about, this guarantees you the possession. 
The next one would be Rokos. Your maps have 8% chance to contain 20 additional rogue exiles. Okay. Let's come to the next one. The next one would be Unrelenting Torment. Map bosses have 10% chance to be surrounded by tormented spirits. And 30% more quantity of items dropped by possessed monsters in your maps. You can also take this note if you want to. If you want to, for example, put it in here, it's up to you. And the last big passive note would be the ones. Up to five rare monsters in each of your maps are possessed and their minions are touched. Okay. Enough theory talk. Let me show you some actual gameplay footage. When I'm ready, oh, and not before. Oh, oh. We will be best friends, beast, until we slaughter you! <laughs> Up 
you go, little beast. Away! 